Hello and welcome back to Attingham Park. As you can see, I am out harvesting the onions. We effectively lost the day yesterday just to rain. It just rained the whole day, so our onions that were ready to harvest, we weren't able to harvest. That's a full load. Stop and put that out. So, yes, we weren't able to get going with the onion harvest until the evening, at which point we got some of the field done and it was just too dark to carry on. So, I am currently out harvesting the onions. Our giant field of canola also was ready to harvest yesterday. Again, we had to not harvest it because of the weather so that has now dried out Susie is out in the John Deere combine harvesting over there and at some point will give me the nod that I need to bring this trailer over and empty the combine out for her our money as you can see has absolutely plummeted down because we had a day where we made no income yesterday and we had the leasing fees for the combine, the Valtra and also the potato planter that we'd hired towards the end of the day to try and get as much harvested as we possibly could as soon as possible. So. I think that's Susie signalling me, so I will go and empty the combine out over there, and then I'll probably top the rest of this field, and carry on digging up some onions. I'll catch you in a little while. Drilling this whole field of corn will probably sell the majority of it because we're not going to need all of it for what pigs we have. So we'll probably sell the majority, keep a small amount 
just to sustain our pigs. Probably keep 30, 40,000 litres, something like that. Sell whatever we get over and above that. As you have seen, we've done a similar sort of thing with the canola. So we've kept about 20,000 litres of canola. I did put 20,000 litres in with the pigs as well. So they are all topped up with plenty of canola. And that's a bit suited to this here. I'm just going to cultivate these in, I think. Sorry, where was I? So, yeah, we've topped the pigs up with canola. They've got a little bit in storage ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill field three with some sunflowers. And they will fulfil the role of canola for the pigs as well. So, we will probably be fairly sorted for the pigs, We're very well sorted for the horses, we've got a nice lot of oats in stock. Field 1, which was the little one we bought, has been drilled grass seed, so as soon as that is ready we will be able to cut that and then ted it to make some hay, so the horses have some more hay. So, we will get on with that. I also need to get out and exercise them. Beauty and Shreddy do take quite a lot of looking after. So, I'm going to get on with drilling this field. Go up and drill field 3. I might try doing field 3 with the Massey again. It's just because of the, the slight hill on this one, the Massey struggles a little bit. Because the drill, the drill basically wants to overtake the Massey and it ends up sort of slightly jackknifed and that's, that's not fun for driving it. So, I'll keep going with this and I'll catch up with you in a bit. just on our way into field one to bail up our hay. This is the reason why I got the mower with the big windrower built into it. Because, I'm going to swing around this hedge actually first. We now don't need to windrow this hay. We can literally just collect it all up in one hit and just boom, that'll be bales popping out the back. That first one that comes out is going to be straw, and then we are on hay. And we can just collect up our stacks. It's going to be a bit weird with this one with a straw bale at the top of it. But we'll sort that out when it comes to it. Right. There we go. Better. Close the door and there we go. So, I'm going to get on with this. There will be some stacks of bales to pick up. And I'll make sure I separate out that straw bale. But uh, as you can see, we are loading up incredibly quickly. That didn't quite work on the turn. Ooh! is uh, not behaving itself with a turning. The other two fields are both all planted already as well. So we've got corn on the big field and I've just gone for some sunflower because that will all run with the same header on the other field. I'll catch up with you shortly.
good morning and welcome back again. I am out in the John Deere combine. Just I've got a corn header on. Let me if I swing the camera around. Get you a look at that corn header. So it's the fairly standard Capello corn header. Uh, it's the HS8, I think, which is a six meter corn header. And we're just getting into this corn. So I've done some headlands already. And uh, I'm just running up and down the field now into the land work. So we're going to get this done. As I said before, we're going to sell a good chunk of it and just keep a small amount to keep our pigs topped up. And I will, I'll keep you updated. Well, I've come into the village to try and find British grains to make a delivery. I think that's British grains, yep. Yeah. And did end up getting rather lost in and around all of the little narrow lanes and residential roads. Let's just pop this door open. But I've made it here now. Probably should have used the sat nav, but I was just trying to trying to use local knowledge, which I haven't really had time to gain yet, have I? So let's just get this in here, get this dropped off, and so we'll get this delivered. The next trailer load is going to go into our silo and then anything extra we make over that will probably come back here to be sold because it's not a bad price it's going for right how do i get out of this village now maybe i'll see you back at the farm lost. I'm using the sat nav this time. Hopefully that works out. As you can see, it's another completely full trailer, which has worked out really well for us. I think this might be British grains on the left. Yep. So yeah, it was uh, another 40,200 litres, which is great news for us. There's about another 3,000 litres that I've just added to our silo just because it seemed easier than doing a separate trip down here and if I'm honest I didn't think I was going to get over 120,000 litres off that field but it is a big field isn't it so this is just going to go into our bank balance which is going to look incredibly healthy relatively speaking once we're done that's not bad right I'll see you back at the farm once I've got lost in town again hello again so I'm now out in the sunflower field and I'm just getting that harvested. Susie is on field 12 with the Valtra and the plough. She's probably a bit out of distance over there. She's just getting that field ploughed so that we are ready to put whatever we're going to put in there next. I'm not sure. We'll have to have a think about that. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Let me get this and I will be back in a second.
Well, that was an incredibly interesting phone call. So, that was a gentleman called Francois, who lives in the haute belleron region of southern France. He said he's a kind of high-up official, kind of equivalent to a mayor in the area, and he has seen some of the stuff I've done, particularly the farm that Susie and I ran at Chellington, and he would like me to go over and do something similar to what we did with Chellington over in Haute Belleron. Which sounds like a great idea in theory. Um, I'd, I'd love to go. I couldn't really get away with leaving Susie here though. That's the key issue. Um, I'd have to take Susie and Paul with me. And as we've only just got set up here, obviously we've got all of our animals, we've got the horses, we've got the pigs, so it's kind of what do we do with those? Um, it's quite a bit to think about. Um, so yeah, Susie and I are going to have to have a conversation about what we're going to do. Are we going to move? Are we going to stay here? If we move, what happens to everything that we've built up here? We kind of just started building things along. Having moved on from Challington, what does it mean for us? So, I'll probably catch up with you once Susie and I have had a bit of a chat. Hello again. Just thought I'd catch up with you after our last little conversation. So Susie and I have had a chat and as soon as I said south of France, Mediterranean, of course Susie said let's go for it. So um, that's what we're going to do. We are going to pack up what we can and have a head over to Hort Belleron. We'll have to look at the uh, the import on the machines and what have you, see what machinery we are allowed to take over there, because um, obviously there's being that now we're uh, Britain is not technically in the European Union anymore. There's different directives uh, on what sort of engines we're allowed to have in machinery and all of that sort of thing and of course it might take a while to get stuff shipped over there. We have looked very quickly into whether the animals can transport over there and we are there's going to be a lot of paperwork to fill out but we are going to take our pigs with us, our 32 pigs, yes they've been a bit busy we're going to take the 32 pigs with us. We're going to take Shreddy and Beauty with us. Beauty's enjoying a nice ride at the moment. So, that's what we're going to do. We will probably get some of the bales shipped over as well, if we can. And, yes, so I'll, I'll probably pop through and do a quick what we're going to take with us let's just open this gate here come on then beauty in you come initial thoughts are we'll probably try and take the Massey and the JCB water trailer will be great if it can go those are the ones we're kind of more sure on these are the ones we're a bit less sure on. 
Valtra obviously is leased, so that will definitely go back. And I guess I'll see you on Hort Belleron. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this very short journey at, uh, through Attingham Park. But thank you very much for watching it. Please do jump on the like button. Get subscribed to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Share the video with your friends. And most importantly of all, have a great day.